Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby. What is good? What is popping? Uh, so today I'm a skeleton. Thank you. Um, just because it's spooky time. No other reason. Not because I feel dead inside. So for today's video, I decided I would make some fall coffee drinks that you guys requested on my Instagram. Follow me at Abby Lucia. We are making two copycat Starbucks recipes because that's all you guys want to ask me for these days. And a couple of other drinks that I like. Before we begin though, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. And real quick, I'd love to share with you guys what Skillshare is all about. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Whether you're a hobbyist or a master, a dabbler or a creative, discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes, experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. For me, I personally enjoyed this course by Tabitha Park where she teaches you how to capture the perfect pour on camera, as well as edit it and make it look bomb. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you Skillshare once again for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so you guys overwhelmingly asked me for a chai recipe or things with cinnamon. So I thought I'd just tell you my favorite chai that I drink. So what you're gonna need is chai spice, syrup, milk, <laughs> and that's about it. Um, and espresso if you want to make it a dirty chai, which I always do because I'm a fiend. Okay, so chai is a mixture of the following spices, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom. Now, you could go ahead and crush up all those spices with sugar and boil it, make your own syrup, and that'd be great. But personally, I don't have the time or even care enough to spend hours on a coffee drink that I'm probably gonna chug in like seven minutes max. So, for this, the easiest way is to purchase a chai syrup or a powder from the grocery store. Both of them are really easily accessible and still make a great chai flavor and save hella time. For this drink, you are just gonna add your one to two ounces of chai syrup to the cup, add your cinnamon, next add your milk, either steamed or cold, however you want it. I do personally think that chai is best hot though. And throw some whipped cream on that baby, boom, you're done, perfect chai. Next, we are going to make the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. Now, this one's a little bit more time consuming, but to make it, it ain't hard. You're gonna need some brown sugar, pumpkin puree, pumpkin pie spice, and some kind of frothable milk. Just mix together all of these ingredients I have here on the screen. You can whip them together either using a mason jar, um, a milk frother, or even a whisk if you have like a fantastic flick of the wrist. Um, but I would really invest in a milk frother if this is something you're gonna make often. And lastly, uh, you just gotta pour this on top of your cold brew. You can either buy cold brew at the store or make your own. Uh, either one works, it's really easy though. If you need to know, I have a past video on how to make cold brew at home. <laughs> it's amazing. It costs like nothing to make. I'm so surprised that people still go and buy it. I guess convenience. I'm also lazy. I don't know why I'm like lazy shaming you guys. Anyways, next drink. We are going to make the Starbucks Apple Crisp Macchiato. I tried this one from the store and found it terrifyingly underwhelming. I enjoyed the concept though. I can see what they were trying to do. So to get started with this one, you can take two routes. You can either get a real apple, boil it down, make a puree, or you can take my route and reduce apple cider with brown sugar and it creates a great flavor with like a quarter of the time effort. So you're gonna need about two cups of apple cider and a cup of brown sugar. And I'd add some cinnamon in there too, cause why not? Bring all of this to a boil and let it cool down and it should thicken up and be ready to use for the macchiato in no time. Then you just mix the syrup and the milk and then pour the shots over top, as you can see. I spilled my shots all over the table. I mean, it wouldn't be my video if I didn't spill everything. Also, add some caramel drizzle on this boy to take it up to the next level. I promise. It's like a, oh my God. One of those caramel apple suckers, you know? Oh, 
don't even get me started. Next, you guys requested a maple latte, so that's what we're gonna make. So for this, it's super easy. I'm just adding maple syrup and shots together with some cinnamon, and that's it. So you could get like a really high quality maple syrup if you wanted to, but I'm using Kroger brand and it ends up tasting amazing still. So do what you want to do. I'm not going to, you could spend $20 on a syrup. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, but I bought this syrup for $1.25 and it does the job. Boom. Beautiful maple latte. Get you right in those fall feels. We're moving on to the last drink, finally. For this one, I wanted to make a drink that wasn't coffee based, just for y'all out there who don't partake in the caffeination. Caffeination, get it? Caffeinated nation. Anyways, we're gonna be making a honey matcha lavender latte. All you're gonna need for this one is some lavender syrup, which can be found on Amazon. Now, similarly to the chai, you could make your own syrup boil down a lavender leaf. I don't even know, okay? Or you can get it from Amazon and it's so much easier. I think the process of making a lavender syrup, unless you're using it every single day, um, is just way too long and not realistic for a lot of people. Also, I'm lazy. All you're gonna need to do is acquire your matcha and prepare it how it's meant to be prepared based on the packaging or how you like it and just add your milk. And because I'm extra, I made the lavender into a cold foam. This isn't necessary, but it, yeah, it's necessary actually. It makes it 10 times better. And very lastly, you're going to drizzle the top of this with a little bit of bee spit or honey. Um, and then boom, it's done. That's it. It's so easy. It's so good though. Oh my God. And I think that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I would love to thank Skillshare once again for sponsoring today's video. If you guys liked this, give it a like. And also subscribe if you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.